Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard, and today I am going to break down the top five fastest rides at the Disneyland Resort. Yes, this includes both Disneyland Park and California Adventure, as um, it is one resort. So let's go ahead and let's break it down. First coaster, or first ride here, is actually Space Mountain. So Space Mountain goes 35 miles per hour, and it is the slowest ride on this list. But as most of you know, Space Mountain is a fantastic attraction. It's one. Of, it's a classic, a lot of people's favorite attraction, and that 35 miles per hour certainly feels much faster in the dark. Plus, Disney adds a whole bunch of fans in the attraction that blow on your blow on your face and in the back of your hair when you are going through it to make it feel like you're going much faster than you really are plus the wind from all the other trains moving throughout the course as well but yeah space mountain is number five at 35 miles per hour now the next three rides are actually at the same speed about about 40 miles per hour but i put them in order of one my favorite and one uh what would be like the most thrilling like the type of ride they are. So, this next three, and this one is Radiator Springs Racers. Radiator Springs Racers is a iconic e-ticket family attraction. You get launched from 0 to 40 miles per hour as you race your friends in the next car next to you. But before that, you go through a like, beautiful, beautiful dark ride experience. And it's just absolutely, absolutely amazing. It uses a test track technology. Now, slot car technology to go through the dark ride segment and to propel the car forward as um, and during the race segment. And unlike Test Track, this goes through a whole bunch of hills as well as drops and around some beautiful, beautiful rock work. So, yes, here it is. Number four, Radiator Springs Racers. The next ride on the list, it also goes 40 miles per hour, but is more thrilling in my opinion than Raider Springs Racers and is also uh, higher on my favorites list is Splash Mountain. The iconic Splash Mountain soon to be Princess and the Frog attraction. Of course, it only goes 40 miles per hour at one part and that is that final drop that drops you 50 feet uh, at a decently steep angle, especially for a Disney ride. But yes, that ride goes about 40 miles per hour on that drop Besides the drop, it has a, a beautiful story, some awesome music, and it's just another iconic e-ticket ride. Uh, I'm super excited. Good thing is, with Tiana and company coming in, the ride's layout is not going to change. So, it'll still have the indoor drop, the slip and falls drop, and the final drop that'll get you to that 40 mile per hour mark with that awesome picture. While well, each one of these pictures on this, each one of these rides on the list takes a picture, but Yes, Splash Mountain, number three, at 40 miles per hour. Ride number two is actually my favorite ride on this list. And uh, most of you know me and know this channel know that this is my definitely my favorite ride. And it's Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, formerly the Tower of Terror attraction. This attraction also goes 40 miles per hour, but it's a constant, especially Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a constant 40 miles per hour, up and down and up and down. Something about going 40 miles per hour vertically is uh, much, much different than going 40 miles per hour on like a, a roller coaster type uh, uh, hills, like bunny hills for Radiator Springs Racers, or on a couple of uh, five second 50 foot drop on Splash Mountain. This is like a 130 foot drop, or 113 foot drop, and. Um, just constant smaller drops, up and down, up and down, up and down, with whole different type, of, a whole bunch of different elements on this drop. You very unique drop tower attraction. So yes, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, formerly Tower of Terror, number two at forty miles per hour. And last but not least, the fastest attraction at the Disneyland Resort, which is also one of my favorites. Well, every one on this list is one of my favorites, but this is like definitely top three of my favorites. 
the Incredicoaster. Whether it's California Screaming or the Incredicoaster, again, it still goes 55 miles per hour. The ride layout, ride layout did not change. Um, just some show elements and the theme changed. But yes, a 55 mile per hour, nice, beautiful launch from 0 to 55 miles per hour. And it's pretty sustained throughout the entire attraction, especially after the, set on the, after the first launch and the second drop. And past the loop, it seems like it's a pretty sustained 55 miles per hour and it feels amazing going that uh, that speed the entire attraction and it's a pretty long attraction the longest or uh, was one of the longest if not still the longest steel coasters in North America so that is super awesome the Incredicoaster, coaster especially at night is a beautiful nighttime coaster um, as you can see from this video that's why I chose the nighttime one because it just absolutely absolutely incredible thank you uh socal theme parks 360 attraction 360 and lmg vids for these awesome videos by the way povs to show what i am discussing well that is it for our top my top five disneyland attractions if you like this, videos like this please press uh that thumbs up button comment below if you want more types of ranking videos for disneyland and other theme parks as well and smash that subscribe button if you want some more cool theme park content, like my previous City Walk, City Walk video that I just did, and other cool Disney and Universal and other theme park content. And always subscribe or share the share this this video if you uh, have any cool Disney loving friends, and have a fantastic, fantastic day.